Hello and welcome to Roguelands as we've never seen it before. What I'm going to do just very quickly on this brand new save file is just make a character. This is Sephiroth, I'm going to create him, press single player, make sure he's in the game. Uh, and you can see here he's got an Aether Blade, uh, a regular droid and nothing else. He's level 1, everything's at default. I'm going to save and quit and close Roguelands. Because I'm looking at Rogue Edit today, Rogue Edit is something uploaded apparently 15 hours ago by a Reddit user called Mofalo over on the Rogueland subreddit. Uh, they've detailed something called Rogue Edit, an external program that allows you to edit your characters outside of Roguelands without interfering too heavily with the player preferences files. Now, uh, what I've done is I've already made a backup, which is why I have a brand new, um, why I have a brand new file and nothing else is on it. And again, there's some instructions here, but just in case you want the lowdown on Windows, can't speak for Mac. Um, you press your Windows and R key, and that opens up your run command. Then a percentage, app data, percentage will send you to the roaming folder. And then you click back to go to app data, local low, default company, roguelands, and that's the file. This is the file that tells you what characters are on your account, what you've unlocked, what weapons you've got on your characters, what's in your chests. Everything is all in there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just quickly have a look at its actual file. So, this is Rogue Edit. I've downloaded it all. I've opened it all from the, um, the WinRAR file. It all seems legit, as far as I can see. Uh, fortunately, Sean has given his blessing to say this isn't illegal, and that he'll probably be using this himself in the future, which is good. So I'm going to open it up. Now, this is the file I've got on my account, and it's a character called Sephiroth that we just made. Now, we know it's on normal difficulty. We know the race. We know the class. Everything I just made is already there. And I've got no investment on stats, but it tells me what my health was, what my mana was, what level I was, right? And so apparently, and it has your items and stuff here as well. I've never used this before, but apparently I can alter things from here. So, on a brand new save file, I am going to have a look to see what I can make my character into, okay? So, first of all, let's make him level 100. Okay, just make him level 100 straight up. And I want to have... Let's have a look at an Aether Knight. I know that's uh, high strength and high faith. And then I want it to be on normal difficulty still. I'm going to change his name to Roger, because I can. Um, I'm going to stick with the same allegiance there. But I'm going to go for... Let's go for a different race. What would we go for? I'd like to see... Let's go for Necro Variant 3. Okay. Then Uniform, we're going to go for... Hmm. Let's go for just something easy. Let's go for Monster Trainer. And the, not not that one, Monster Trainer. And then for Augment, uh, let's have let's have the Beats by Boise. Okay, so this is Roger. It was Sephiroth. Hopefully, it's going to change when I boot this back up in just a second. But his stats haven't changed as far as I know. So what I'm going to do is going to give him some extra stuff. So Combat Chips, uh, I've got a Swiftness there, but I'd like to change this. Can I change this by changing the name? I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look. I'd like to see if I can have. Um, Oh, here you go. Dexterity 10, right? For some reason. In fact, give him strength 10. That makes more sense. Strength 10. Okay. Enter. So apparently it's giving me strength 10. I'm going to change this swiftness to a strength 10 as well. In fact, I'm going to change this one to bubble. Again, I've never used this before. This is just me getting a first impressions on how this works. Strength 10. Let's keep this going. Oh, non -str. Strength 10. So all I'm doing is typing in what I want and pressing enter. And lastly, another strength 10. Okay, then drones. I've got an RCK 22. I'd like a Megazord. Megazord 36. I'd like, um, let's see. Yeah, I want to get a butterfly. Butterfly 8. Very good. And then my equipped, I should have just the Aether Blade. That's right. So I'm going to change this to a Caster Sword. Okay, let me choose the level. Level 10. I want one of them. Item reg uh, legendary. Why not? And then shield. Um, which one gives you high faith? I've had one before. Um, something about knight or... I'm not sure. Oathkeeper. That'll do. No, peacekeeper. That's the one I want. Peacekeeper. And I want that to be level 10. I want the, just to have one of them. And I'd like it to be legendary. Okay. That's done. Now, helmet, I would like... Hmm... If you're going Aether Knight, you might as well do... Um, what's his name? Azazel's armor. Okay. Azazel's helm. Done. Item level, 10. Item quantity, 1. Item rarity, legendary. Armor, I'd like the same. Azazel's armor. Okay, and... 
There we go. So you press enter and it'll open this little menu up. That sounds kind of cool. Item quantity one. Item rarity legendary. Ring. We're going to go for... Um... <laughs> the Galahad that gives you the strength? Yes, it is, isn't it? I believe it's the Galahad ring that gives you the strength. And we're going to go for level 10. We're going to go for item quantity one, of course. And legendary. And lastly, we're going to do the same again. A second Galahad at level 10. We'll just check that is how this works, isn't it? Yeah, well, now we go past 10, so 10 must be the max. I don't know if it was like the word max or what. There we go. So that, that's my armor done. And I'm going to give myself some stuff as well. So my inventory, I have a ton of slots here. Inventory, slot one, I'm going to give myself a credit. Item level will be nothing. Um, item quantity, let's see how far I can push it. Let's go to 19,998. Well, let me go over that. Okay. So I can go to 9,999. But let's see if we can push it worse than that, actually. I'll do, I'll do a regular credit. I'll do a credit. And we'll give it item quantity of 9,999. That won't change anything. And in the second slot, let's do something weirder. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do an Aether Blade. Yep. That's level 5. Of which I have 342. And they're all epic. Okay, we'll, we'll just do something strange like that. So, right now, I've got Roger on normal difficulty, who's a Necro Aether Knight with, um, you know, same Allegiant, different variant. None of these things have actually got unlocked. I'm going to see how far we can push this. And just for stats, I want 450 Strength, I want 450 Faith, and 9,999. Will it let me go that far? No, 999 is the highest. Press Save Character. Okay, so that should have altered my player files. So, I'll close that. I'll go back into Roguelands. We'll open that back up. Okay, so, this is Roger, apparently, and everything I asked for is here. Everything. I've got the sword I wanted, I've got all the stats that I wanted. So, this looks like an incredibly useful tool. Um, useful in a weird way. Because I've now got a character that is beyond the realms of what should be possible with the gear I've got on. Because again, these still give me stats. These are still useful things, but I've got 1,001 Vitality without anything on. I've got Beats by Boyzu, which I didn't have unlocked. I've got all of these things already here. I've got these Aether Blades as well. If I, can I have that stack? Hello? No, I can just equip it and it turns it down to one. But that's really weird. Oh no, it stays at 242. I just can't halve it. Can I put it in a chest? Let's have a look. Can I? No, let's put it down as one. It just gives it a weird number. Okay then, so I've now been given a free character with effectively infinite stats, with a well, infinite, a thousand stats on everything, if I wanted it, whatever items I want, whatever level things I want. That's kind of insane. Um, as much as this is something useful, it's also incredibly prone to abuse, I think. But if you want to use it, you've got the option. Uh, this is Rogue Edit uh, by, what was your username? I'm so sorry. Merfalo. Um, I'll probably put the link to this in the description for this video, but this is really weird um, But let's have a look very quickly if I go to save and quit go to play I can click on any of these, but I still have I oh, don't have any of the races But somehow I've got a necro character made from something right. I think you have to have something in the slot for the first place um, I think you have to have like the character like here before you can make it so you can't just make it from no character whatsoever But that is really bizarre and I'm going to do one more thing before we finish with this. And that is, go back into my... Oh, what do you mean? My backups. Go to my... Sorry about my desktop. I know it's a mess. Right. Got to go to... Here. Again, this is what I do every time I need to change player files for my Iron Man mode. This is my cheatsy one. So I'm going to rename this to cheating. Yep. And I'll move that into my Iron Man. And then I'll get my actual Iron Man one here. And I'm going to copy this and have a new one. Um, paste this in here as well. Okay, so that's my Iron Man one. This is the Iron Man one I'm going to break. Okay, these are exactly the same. They're identical. Get rid of that. And open this back up. So, Steel is the name of my Iron Man character. That is correct. So I can load Steel right up. I've now got uh, an Iron Man difficulty character who is the Wanderer, Blade Master, uh, pretty much everything at default and all of the stats that he's got. After the, the stream I did earlier today. He's got all the combat chips. He's got all of his drones. He's got everything here. But something that's been plaguing me is my auto rifle. 
And the rarity is normal, and I want it to be legendary. It isn't item level 10, though. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe that looks look like a bug. Oh, well. So I've got that there. So, whatever. I changed that to a legendary quality one for me. And my shield, I need that to be legendary as well. And I don't want... This is legendary already. I want this to be legendary. And I've got oh, an epic ring today. I want the other one to be legendary. And now I want... Um, let's see. I'd like to change my augments. I want... I don't know. A blacksmith a uniform. No, actually, I'll do, I'll do Monster Trainer again because it's the best one. Uh, and I'm going to get the crown for the hell of it. Okay? So... I'm now going to turn my level whatever character into some monstrosity. I level like 55, 56. I didn't need that open. Let's have a look. Um, right. This is quite a personal video apparently. All the information coming out. Right. So this is Steel. He's now level 1. But all of his gear is legendary by that ring that I didn't change. And I don't know what made him level 1. Maybe I just saved it without altering anything. But I've got an auto rifle. A legendary. That's not max. This is an Iron Man character. He's an Iron Man. That's what... Is he still a Iron Man? I don't know. The only way to find out is to kill him, I guess. Um, let me just quickly go and die. Um, again, I'm out of backup, so it's not the end of the world. Let's just go and have a look. I'd like to see how far I can push this. Come on, get me. Two damage. You're a boss. Kill me. Really? Alright. Okay. What? Okay. Working well. Everything's fine. You do four damage? Okay, just walk into some chaos here. It'd be great. Here we go. Should be dying pretty fast now. I want to be hit by one of the plague things. There we go. And I should be dead. Okay, so... When I die, I get all the score for everything I've already done. So I can click all these things open and get my Nomad Race, get a Luminance, get a Titan, get a Shroom Hat. For some reason I've got World Fragment, because it must have pushed me through one of the things. And then I press Main Menu. Okay, so... Yeah, he's dead. That was an Iron Man character. Absolutely, through and through. And I was able to go in and edit the files to get whatever I wanted. Um, another thing that it looks like you can do... Oh, I'm going to quit this, because I don't need that... Uh, play a save file anymore. Um, let's have a quick look again. Oops. Let's see. Go back in here. Default company Roguelands. That, that was the player text file. It's absolute nonsense. You can't find anything in here if you wanted to. Um, but that was the file I just used to die on. So I can get rid of that. And all being well, if I get these back up. Iron Man. If I just cut this. Go to the file my Roguelands file, paste it here, okay, and then we can open up, oh, don't need to open up that one, so many things going on, here we go, open this back up, and Steel is back, level 55, as it should be, with all the regular gear, and he's fine, um, well, let's give it one last test, just on something else, right, so if I go to I've got that saved, that's alright. I'm going to keep that file because I need it. I'm going to quickly uh, cut it from here, put it back into my save file. There we go, so that is my Iron Man file. Now I'm going to open up Roguelands again, start a fresh file once again. Okay, make a character, this is Doof. Welcome to the world, Doof. That was a normal character, done, saved, exists. Now I'm going to find this folder open up rogue edit I've got doof select doof I'm gonna make him an Iron Man character put him to level 100 without doing anything save it close it now I'm going to open up rogue lands this is my Iron Man doof okay and he has a grand total of 3 HP right now so this is doof he's an Iron Man I'm gonna go get myself killed I've done nothing. You've seen me make this character. They don't do damage. Can I have something to do damage? Like this rock? One. Two. Three. Okay. And I've defeated no enemies. I somehow got to level 100 by taking three damage. And I get Wanderer level two. Well, Wanderer two. Anti-hero. Phoenix. 
Centurion, Beehive, Necro. What? How did I get the Necro? I'm sorry. Eye Gadget, Dirt Mage, Monster Trainer, Demon Horns, Rogue Bandana, Scholar, Pyromancer, Scientist, Crusader, Forsaker Mask, and that's it. Well, I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing, and I managed to do that somehow. Okay, so let's quickly have a look. All these things I've just unlocked. Not a lot here. I reached level 100 without taking any damage on a Necro there, which is bizarre. Um, in any case, I've got all these extra uniforms, including the Monster Trainer, including the Forsaken Mask, and I've got a couple of different things to play with. And I did nothing. I typed in a few numbers. So, as much as this seems like a tool that is useful, and the thing that I can think this sort of player preferences changing or altering like program could be useful for, is changing how... I need to actually mute my music again. Is changing how you view the game. When you're playing Iron Man mode and you, you're really sad because your Iron Man just got like a legendary ring or three and you can't put it on your regular account, this is when this would be useful. This is a point where you can get that item from that character and put it onto wherever you like. Secondarily, if, you've got, if you're in one of those situations where you've accidentally leveled a, up a character through Caius to level 100 and you're missing a ton of the stats that you should have because you've skipped levels, and that means you missed out on the stats from those levels, that you could go back and alter it without having to go into your system files and messing up with that. And I think situations like that is cool. As Sean said, it might be useful for trying out different builds, but there's so much room for abuse for a program like this. And as much as it's going to be done with the purest of intent, and again, this isn't being policed, so you can do as you wish, and I shan't judge, you can just scumbag the game. If you really wanted to, you could start an Iron Man character, just as I did, get it level 1, well, start a regular character, change it to an Iron Man, get it to level 100, then kill it, and unlock a ton of stuff with doing no effort whatsoever. And if that's how you want to play the game, you're entitled to do that, that's fine. But there is definitely an inherent level of um, mischief in something like that. And I'm sure that everyone can appreciate that there's a, you know, there's merit to like earning things through the game however you want, uh, but there's also merit to earning it properly. So... Either way, this is a tool that's available to you. It's available to everybody right now. If you want to go on the Reddit and have a look, that's fine. Um, I just thought I'd make a video because this popped up and obviously it's something that maybe some people will get some use out of. Maybe some people want to see how it worked. And um, all of my suspicions are kind of confirmed that it doesn't really matter what you've got. Every item in your inventory can be changed level of. Everything that you want to ever be done is, is right there for you. You want a different tier weapon. You want a different weapon. You want certain combat ships. You never have to spend a credit, you never have to spend a champion badge, you never have to make a character to level 100 by leveling it. You can just type in 100 in a box, uh, and there it is. So, I do with this information as you see fit. Obviously, I don't know if I'll ever make any more videos along these lines. Um, but this could be a very useful tool, I shan't doubt it. Um, it could be a very useful tool, and if you think you can get some use out of it, you're entitled to use it however you see fit. Uh, but that's it from me before we get too biased and opinionated. I just think it's strange that Iron Man mode is, is so blaringly out there but yeah, I'll reserve my judgment for, for later uh, thank you for joining me on this weird adventure with Rogue Edit, I hope to speak to you all very very soon, uh, and until then look after yourselves, and bye for now